spray production in Florida is highly dependent on the soil fumigation. Methylbromine was a predominant compound being used in Florida before it was banned due to its ozone depletion potential. So now there are <laughs> no, it's still recording. <laughs> mm, this is so stupid. Oh, it's it's already good. Okay. Strawberry production in Florida is highly dependent on soil fumigation. Methyl bromide was predominant compound being used before it was banned. Methyl bromide had very good vapor pressure, so it was able to move effectively in all parts of the soil bed, providing excellent control of diseases, weeds, and nematodes. Now it's been banned due to its ozone depletion potential, so there are several other alternative compounds. Telon C35 is one of them. Telon C35 is a combination of two major active ingredients, one 3D dichloropropene, which has a strong nematicidal property, and chloropicrine, which has a strong fungicidal property. As Talon does not have any herbicidal component and we have the big problems of weeds in Florida, especially nuts, which can puncture the plastics, growers are highly advised to apply additional herbicides such as sulfentrazone or EPTC herbicides. Alternatively, they can apply another fumigant called metampotassium. Metampotassium can be applied using narrowly spaced multiple cultures that covers the whole width of the soil bed or it can be injected through the drip irrigation system as well as they are very soluble in water. Methyl potassium converts into the methyl isothiocyanates when it goes to the soil and methyl isothiocyanates has very strong herbicide capacity. In addition, it provides some level of control for the diseases and nematodes as well.